Hello everyone, thank you for joining me on this episode of JM Plays Badly. On today's episode we're playing World of Warcraft, we're back on our Horde Hunter, and we're just making a little bit of a short video to continue our adventures here in the Howling Ford. Um, and we're just going to get right into it, and we're going to start doing all the quests that are down the line here. Um, oh, can I play with the cannon? I can play with the cannon. That was cool. Okay. Anyway, let's get on our Hawk Strider. And the first thing we're going to do is, so we're going to guide the sights for the cannons, and we're going to head south here, and we're going to mark the cannons with the uh, smoke flares. We've got our Titan Strike. We've got our Crab Pet. Do I have any other pets? No, I don't. I only have the Crab. Okay. Well, that's all right. good thing the cool cool and good thing is the forsaken allies are fighting so I can sneak run past a bunch of these people a bunch of the people here all right and then yeah we'll just I don't have a target oh okay no target Jeez. Oh, look, it's a medic. I think between, I mean, I mean, I'm not even using heirloom gear. Although I did find out some, um, my uh, brother actually told me this. Uh, heirloom gear is not all it's cracked up to be anymore. They actually uh, took some of its functionality away. Without looking at it, I can't remember the exact thing they took away. I just, I think it's, I know it's, it still scales to level, so that's not bad. But, there we go. Is there anything else to do in this? No, the other thing is to go up to the, uh, the top there. Okay, anyway. Um,. Okay, so rested. Ex so basically, what happens now is instead of increasing the amount of EXP you get, um, they gave it set bonuses and. Oh, ouch! You hit me, you idiots! Anyway, um. I was trying to show it off as I was walking. Anyway, what happens is now it's like uh, if you have a set of two, rested ear EXP consumed is reduced by 30%. So, you know, so it's actually, you know, it's actually. Um... I serve the Banshee Queen. Hey, level up. What do you seek? Alright, so then we go back in and now we're gonna go back in and we're gonna kill these uh, targets. The one thing I have to remember, I I have to remember that when they changed part of the um, the way the, the way that it, the game works they uh, the level scaling uh will reload between zones so it actually doesn't matter what level I reach in an area it turns out uh, coming in and out of the area will uh, definitely fix that change it up and you know but at the 
the same time, that doesn't necessarily mean you want it to. You want to overlevel everything. Obviously, the object is to get from point A to point B, you know, stuff like that. There we go. I feel like... Oh, no, I'm in Marksman. Okay. I think that's my other one I went to Beast Mastery. Something else I wanted to just kind of... Almost like remind myself and everybody else at the same time. Um, there are certain pets that if I want to tame them, I need Beast Mastery. So, oh look, the lieutenant has an apothecary captive. Well, let's take care of her and see what the apothecary wants, shall we? I like that bow as a transmog, but I also like Titan Strike, so. Uh, let's see. Okay, so. Dark Lady, watch over you. So I say, I kind of figured that was going to happen. following me or sort of all right let's I guess I'll cut a path out of here and let him get out of here then I'll go get the third person because it does say escort him out of here oh, or he's gonna go do something all on his own You know, I understand his thought process, but at the same time, I don't understand his thought process. I know that doesn't make any sense. I understand the thought process of burning supplies, but, you know, if at the end of the day, their other plan is to, uh, um, eventually drive the Alliance out or get rid of them all, wouldn't it be better to leave the supplies for the living members of the Horde? The living members of the Horde? I guess I have to at least take him to the gate. Okay. Huh. They went after the crab. There was no reason to go after the crab, but they went after the crab anyway. That's kind of funny. There we go. Get him 
my hawk strider and ride. Alright. Try to avoid the fire. Okay, technical difficulty there. Strider and out. she going? What would you ask of death? There. If the enemies would stop respawning, she'd probably stand still. I watch. I listen. Oh my goodness. I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna wipe out a whole bunch of them in the area. There we go. All right, Liana, would you please hold My still? Strike true. Right, I'm gonna take the Elkhorn crossbow, and then all right, then we can hit back to the High Executioner. What do you seek? Quest to turn in. We've gained a lot of EXP, mostly because I got a lot of rested EXP because I take frequent breaks between characters. So let's see what happens when we go up here now. Actually, we will report to him, but I'm going to go report about the apothecary over here first. Hello. Our time will come. Kelchish. So this quest is because
Okay. sacrificed those guys oh and then killed all the forsaken crossbowmen and stole their souls well then anyway this unlocks our first dungeon now so anyway so that's so the elf prince thinks he can come to the town and insult the queen insult Sylvanas can kill the people there well he's going to own guard keep and that's where he wants us to go and kill him we get a pair of bracers for our trouble victory for Sylvanas so technically if I wanted to or not the quest log I could do where is it probably do group finder and pick a specific dungeon and go to unguard keep dungeons can be long I wouldn't do that to you right now the next thing to do is to go to. It looks like it's over here. It looks like some kind of an elevator thing to get out of this valley, and then do the turn in the quest. The offense begins, and then there's another one over here at New Agamond and the Howling Ford, which is a quest to go to New Agamond. Anyway, there's the the entrances for uh, Unguard Keep and the Unguard Pinnacle, the two dungeons. Let's. Let's go a couple minutes. Let's at least go turn in the quest up there for the offensive begins. What a wargs. Could tame one of them if I wanted. There you go, vengeance lift. Oh, an abomination that's actually a sergeant. That's cool. What we do. Okay, so he wants us to kill Ulf the Bloodletter. Oric the Baleful and Gunnar Thor. Yeah, okay. And drive the Forsaken Banner through there. Slay across the Forsaken Blockade until they appear and we'll get a helmet that's better than what we're wearing. Okay. So that's cool. And then there's another quest over here. How may I aid you? With chief, with chieftain Ash Totem at Camp Winterhoof. All right. Ancestors, watch over you. Yeah. Okay. Uh, 
it doesn't look like there's any place to rest around here. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna start heading back. Like I said, I wanted to keep it, uh, I wanted to keep the video fairly short. And the next video, though, I might try to do on Guard Keep. I might try to queue up at the Dungeon Finder and uh, get in there. And then we can do a whole video as a run through on Guard Keep. So. Maybe I'll give him. Maybe I'll even uh, see if there's any rare pets around. And I can go get one of those too, but for the meantime, we're just going to run through the field and head back to town. Be a nice little thing. But yes, I'm, I'm definitely thinking that for the next video, I'll do that. Then I can do that. Though I should look around. I, I'll have to see. Maybe I'll look, at, up, look it up on a guide. There might be other quests that require going into Unguard Keep, and I might, if there is, I might just go find those. But here we go. We're in this little rest area. We're gonna. I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come up here. Oh, there's a horde expedition what do quartermaster. You oh. Oh, that's cool. It requires it. Uh, it requires to be revered with the horde expedition, but there's a nice. Uh, there you go. That's what it looks like. Not a bad bow. Victory for Sylvanus. This is a good spot as any. Okay. That about does it for today's episode. If this is your first time here, hit those subscribe and notification buttons so you can stay up to date on everything I'm working on. You can also support the channel on Patreon. There's a link to that in the description below. There's also a link to my Twitch channel so you can be notified when I'm streaming. As always, thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next episode.